Hey guys, welcome back to ED Figure Unboxing. If you're finding me for the first time, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the future content. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Snipe Simulation Gamer Level 50. And this one is probably my least favorite design from the show. Um, I wasn't going to get it at first, but I figured um, I'm going all in for the line, so I may as well pick it up sooner than later, right? I'm not sure if he's going to skyrocket in the aftermarket. But anyways, um, here's the left of the box, here's the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. And that's not wasting any more time, and bust this thing open and see how we got. And here we have the figure still in the inner packaging. Um, doesn't come with a whole lot, and let's check out the figure itself. Alright, so here we have the figure itself. Again, um, not my favorite design, but the figure does look really good. Um, as expected from SH Figure Arts, everything is very nicely painted and sculpted. And I'm pretty sure it will grow on me after I start posing with my other figures. Um, but let's take a closer look at the figure. Um, I love all this attention to detail. Um, the paintwork is all very clean. Um, I like the gum metals, um, the silver paint, everything looks really, really good. And yeah, um, I think we can get into the articulation. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over from the neck down. Um, he can look up about this much, can't really look down. You can turn his head no problem. And his shoulder is on a standard ball joint. You can raise his arm up about this much. And you can actually move the cannons on his shoulder, so that's pretty nice. On um, these, you can move it on a hinge. And here, it's just, um, I don't think it's a ball joint yet. You can only move it like that. And he has bicep swivel, bicep curl, and all that good jazz. And for the ab crunch, he can bend forward about this much, bend backwards about this much. And you can have some side to side movement. And for the leg, you can kick up about this high, bend about this much, side to side pivot, toe hinge, and thigh swivels. Um, basically, if you have any other XA figures, you know exactly what to expect. But, anyways, I believe that's it for the articulation, and let's check out the accessories. And for the accessories, he only came with this piece, um, which allows you to perform his final attack. Um, let me quickly find the instruction paper and show you guys how it's done. So, yeah, this is what you have to do. I'm just attached the piece. Attach the arms and let's try that out. All right, so here I have it assembled with a piece on um, performing his final attack, and it actually works pretty well and it looks really, really good. Anyways, uh, I believe that's it for the accessories. Um, it's a relatively short review, but it is what it is, and let's check out some action poses. Anyways, um, that was just some quick posing, and I hope you guys enjoyed them. And after playing around with the figure, um, it has definitely grown on me. I might want to go back and watch the show again. But anyways, um, let's check out some size comparison. And for the size comparison, let us start with the Kamen Rider X8 figures, and of course they look very good together. And Kamen Rider X8 is a very popular show, so I expect them to do most of them, if not every single one of them. Um, the only ones that I don't really like is the Dragon Knight, so I don't think I'm gonna pick those up. But the rest of them, I think I should be going all in. Um, we'll see. And next up, we have some Dragon Ball SH Figure Arts. And then we have some Street Fighters SH Figure Arts. Some Naruto SH Figure Arts. And please support the Naruto line. Some American IP SH Figure Arts. And then we have some Mesco 112 Collective figures. And lastly, we have some recent Figma figures, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, I think this figure is fairly straightforward. Um, if you're a big fan of the character, I say pick it up. Otherwise, it's a pretty easy pass. I think the design is really niche, but that's just my opinion though. Um, do let me know in the comments on what you think. But yeah, um, the aftermarket price for this guy is not too bad. Um, I pick it up for around 100 bucks, including shipping, which is not nearly as bad as Danger Zombie, right? I'm pretty sure they're gonna release another version of Danger Zombie because Kuroto is just too popular for them to not do it. And they kept teasing like these really awesome prototype in these Japanese events. So yeah, I'm almost certain that we're gonna see a lot of variants from um, Danger Zombie. But anyways, um, I think that's it from me. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.